How to create folder mappings with the SharePoint Connector app for Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take an area in Business Central and add SharePoint integration to that. Um, this, in this video, I assume that you already installed the SharePoint Connector app. If you haven't, uh, there's a link to the playlist where you can find the installation video for that. Um, but I'll just get right to it. So I have SharePoint uh, Connector app installed here. Um, and somebody asked me, hi, Eric, we need uh, we need to save documents on our resources. So I go into the, the resource card and um, there's no SharePoint uh, integration here. Um, but we can add that. So if I go to SharePoint table mapping, this page controls where you have SharePoint integration, and um, we can uh, we can take a look at this. Um, we can see that customer table is in is mapped. Um, the next field is mapping method, and and there are two mapping methods in the system. One is static which is what we use on customers here. And the other is dynamic, which we can see that is used on something that looks more like transactional data. And, and the idea is that static mapping establish a location on SharePoint uh, that is linked to a, in this case, to a customer. So no matter what happens, if you change the name of the customer and stuff like that, the, the location of where data that belongs to this customer exists will stay the same. Dynamic is the other way around. Dynamic will always look at the data you have and then figure out what folder are we in. So meaning that one record in Business Central potentially can end up pointing to a different folder depending on, uh, on, the, on the nature of the mapping. Um, so the the base idea is that uh, master data kind of uh, tables, items, customers, vendors, stuff like that, you use static mapping and anything that is transactional in nature use dynamic mapping. You can also do dyna dynamic mapping for everything or static mapping for everything, but it's, you'll find that it's better to, to, to use either static or dynamic depending on the, on the nature of the data. The next field is folder name. Folder name is the root folder. Uh, the example I have on screen here is that I have customers mapped. And there's, uh, you see, the, the right now we have data from two customers. They sit in the customers table, uh, customers folder. Um, and that is why we specify here. Then I will skip this checkbox, we'll get back to that in a second. Um, the next two fields are caption field and caption specification field. Uh, in this case, we can see on customers that caption field is name and caption specification is number. Some of the others do not use a caption specification field. Uh, we can see here that the folder name is, in, of course, the customer name, and then the caption specification is the customer number. So like in case you have two customers with the same name. Let's say you have 200 Walmarts uh, and they're all called Walmart, but they're different customers. Then we can make sure that the uh, the folder name is unique. Um, the next thing is a parent table. Um, and the example I want to use here is, is sales order where the, the parent table for sales header uh, I want that to be customers and then the linking field would be the build to on like on a sales order. So if you add a document to a sales order, the folder for that will sit inside the customer folder. So invoices or orders for one customer sits in, in a subfolder of that customers and invoices and orders from a different customer sits in a different folder under that different customer. And you can have multiple layers of this if, if you want to. Um, I skipped one field here. Alternative mapping exists. So in case of sales header, if I click on alternative folders, we can see that there are actually 
you can you can add extra rules because the cell setter table is used in multiple places uh, of mul multiple purposes. So we can say that if this is a quote, you, we want this to be in a quote folder. If this is an order, we want this to be in an order folder. Uh, and and the same rules apply here. Uh, so you can you can build alternative mapping depending on where you want the documents to show up, but. In this case, we wanted to map resources. So I go down on the new line here and I find the resource table and that's number 156. I remember that because I am a dinosaur. Uh, so I select resource and resource is kind of a master data kind of table. So I will keep static uh, and I'll put them in a folder called resources and I will select the name and as the as the the caption field and I'll just select the the number also as my caption specification field. And that's it. I I'm done with mapping here. So now I go back to Catherine uh, and I open this and now we can see that the SharePoint box appears. So you might do this and then get to this point and get super disappointed because the SharePoint box does not disappear. Um, fear not. We have tried to anticipate all the places in, in within standard Business Central uh, where the box could appear uh, and make sure that it will appear in those places. If you found a place that we did not anticipate there is a way for your partner to uh, to add a small uh, extension and and you can add the sharepoint box to any page in the system um, i think there's also a link below for for how to do that but we got the box and i will add a uh, what should we add here i will add a turtle so i drag the, the turtle we upload that and if I now go to SharePoint and click Browse on SharePoint, we can see that the the very nice turtles here, or turtle, um, is in the Catherine Hall folder. And we got Catherine because that was the resource number as a specification. Of course, sitting in the resource folder, uh, sitting in the documents folder. So. That's how easy it is to uh, to add a mapping to uh, to the Japan Connect app for for any table in the in the system. There are links below. You can go try this out yourself. And um, good luck and uh, have fun uh, integrating SharePoint with uh, Business Central.